And I'd like to begin today's proceedings. I saw something. It involves the Lions, and we just need to go around the room with it because I think this number is low. The Lions over under in Vegas is nine and a half. I'm absolutely saying they win at least 10 games this year. There's not a doubt. They are winning this division. 10 and seven is not that high a bar to clear, especially in this rat trap division. Am I insane or are you guys aboard the train here? Go ahead, Kenny. You can go first. Oh, I'm just going to put it on the glass board right there during the break. Yeah, I'm absolutely on board with the over. I couldn't believe I saw nine and a half. Ten is my baseline. Perfect. David? Yeah, over ten. Yep. Doesn't it seem easy? It does to me, but which means we may be wrong. And that leads us to Poopy McPooperson. <laughs> go ahead, Rico. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to take the under Oh, on come <laughs> on. No, honestly... I think that's the perfect number of nine and a half because I think they'll win nine games. You don't think they're better than last year? They may be better, Mike, but I think teams are going to be more prepared for them. So, wow. Okay. So, whereas before it was the Lions, and yeah, we're playing the Lions. Now it's like, hey, guys, we better get ready because we don't want the Lions to come in here and beat us. Well, then let me me ask you this question then, because I'm not saying the Jags and the Lions are the same because the Jags made the playoffs last year, but they're also at nine and a half. Do you not think that people are going to say the same thing about the Jags? I would say the same number for the Jags. I, I don't believe in the Jags like this man does. But, yeah, I think around nine games is... Where's that? Because the NFL, I mean, rarely does it go the way that you think that, oh, this team is just going to run away. Because when everybody plays the win-loss game, every fan base has their team at 10 wins. Doesn't happen that way. I think nine, they're in a bad division. I think nine can win them the division. But all right. Yeah. Had to ask, David, go ahead with your regularly scheduled program. Yeah, so there is a report out here that Aaron Rodgers was almost – A Patriot. Well, I guess if you want to believe that or not, says the New England Patriots made an offer to the Green Bay Packers to get Aaron Rodgers. And when Aaron Rodgers heard it, his agent said, no, we ain't playing for New England. We want to be a Jet. I mean, I have no issue if you want to believe that New England made an offer, but you think Aaron Rodgers wants to deal with the the, the construct of of that organization? Well, he couldn't do his shenanigans in New England because Belichick would just Put a bullet in that real fast, like, Aaron, no, not how I do things. Yeah, I just, that would be the worst fit. Probably, yeah. What also may be a worse fit is seeing J.J. Watt on TV. There's an offer for him on TV, according to the New York Post, Andrew Marchand, saying there's an offer from CBS, NBC, and NFL Network, and CBS is viewed as the favorite if he chooses to go towards TV. Yeah. These networks continue to burn money. I mean, look, Andrew Marchand is one of the best media writers in the country. I, it, it's got to be true. And J.J. Watt is a nothing burger to me. I can't believe the money they throw out for athletes who largely can't complete sentences. You think J.J. Watt is interesting on a pregame or a in-game broadcast? He's He's a nothing. I, I'm sorry. No, I, I'm these with, networks I, just waste money. It's like you're a former athlete. You must be good in telling this. Because basically, I think they're hiring people to tell stories of what happened in the locker room and in the huddle. And it's like, or maybe you can go out and find somebody who did not play, but actually is qualified and can be entertaining. But yeah, every athlete now is just, yeah, you, when you look at the, it's, unbelievable. It, it's one guy who didn't play surrounded by a bunch of guys who did play. And they all the jokes and stuff get old really fast. It really does. So let's go through some training camp things here. Uh, or, I'm sorry, mini camp. Fact or fiction going into training camp in July. So, first one. Colts will name Anthony Richardson the week one starter. Oh, Jesus. I mean, there's a lot of buzz with him saying how great he looks and he's ready. Who's the backup? I apologize. Oh, crap. Who is the backup? I can't is think it Minshew? Of, I can't think of the backup. Maybe that is, it is Minshew. Yeah, I, so I'll say no. Look, Minshew to start the year, he's, he's if he could start for some teams. He's a highly qualified guy. Richardson, to me, they need to be very careful early on. I'm not telling you he's not going to play. He'll play. But week one? 
I'm going to say it's fact. I think they're just going to jump in and go all in and sell this crowd that this is the guy. Yeah, they're going to do that. I don't think he should, but I don't run the Colts. I've heard that. You're not Ursay, huh? Mm-mm. Weird. The next one here is Jimmy G will miss the first four weeks of the regular season. I feel like he might miss the rest of forever. Like I, I mean, he failed his physical. They could get out of that deal in a heartbeat. <laughs> but how did you sign him without because, making him take a physical? Because you're the Raiders. <laughs> I mean, how did Mark Davis walk around with that haircut all these years? I mean, let's be honest about it. I mean, it I'm just saying. when you own the team and people are afraid you'll fire him. But no, nah, David, I yes, I don't think he's going to play in the first quarter of the season. And he may miss a lot more time than that. That that he got over. His agent got over on the Raiders. <laughs> Some organizations just continue to be bad. It just historically they do stupid things. Uh, let's move on to this one, Mike. You'll love this next one. Mm. Lamar Jackson will be back in the MVP conversation because he's getting more freedom in the offense. Sure. But I don't value the MVP as a legitimate award. That's just fun time. You know what Lamar needs to show me? He can hold on to a lead in the fourth quarter. Go look at the last two seasons. You won't be able to win that argument with me. So, so he'll, we'll- he'll have tons of yards and fun. I, I don't care. It has nothing to do with me wanting him as my quarterback. So the Ravens win two playoff games, and he plays well in both oh, of those well, then games. It, then it would be an MVP that is earned. No, I'm saying at that point, has he swung you back over? No. What does he need to do to win over Mike? Uh, show that he's an actual NFL passing quarterback no, I'm over saying the he course goes, of two years. He gets to the AFC Championship game. Yeah, that's fine. You know what? If Jared Goff over 24 games can't convince this brain dead town that he's okay, then why the hell would I care what Lamar does in one year? Deuces right here. I don't care. <laughs> I'm just saying. I've watched him get worse every year since winning the MVP. Right. I'm saying, was there a bar where you're like, you know what? If he does this. Yeah, a couple good years. Oh, and by the way, don't quit on your team and don't miss a third of the season like you have the last two years. I got plenty of check marks. Okay. He won't pass any of them. And then let's close it out going back to some over under. Just a couple teams I want to focus on. Yeah, and sure. Close it out. It's the football version of Zion. Gotcha. Not far off. <laughs> Nine and a half over under for the Dallas Cowboys. Under. Okay. I mean, look, I think Dak Prescott stinks. Full stop. I can't get the playoff game out of my mind. I'm going to go over. I think that the, just because it's just Pollard's game. I what, think what, that's is that your, be what is that your B team? No. Is that I, the other team you picked up after you dropped your hometown Lions? No. I think... Just having Pollard, I think, is enough that's going to propel them. They'll battle it out with uh, Philly. So I'll add, I'll do these teams together. Same division. Mm. They can't both go over, I don't think. Okay. Jets and Dolphins are at nine and a half. I'll take under on the Jets. Can't speak to Miami because of Tua. You gotta, yeah. He's healthy. It's one thing. If he's not, it's another. The Jets, I don't buy in. I don't. Aaron Rodgers has been a game manager his last couple of years in Green Bay. I, I will be shocked if he descends upon MetLife and he's thrown it 40 times a week. I, I, I can't do it. But you know what? That's why I'm going to – you made the argument of why I will take the over for the Jets because the defense is good enough that if you could just manage the game, you can get some wins. You don't need Aaron Rodgers to go out there swinging the ball around. No, it's, it, it is fair. I just – in that – Miami, t- I, 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 lo- I love Tua. But if he's ha- – no idea. Yeah. you got to be a, you got to be a maniac to bet on them. And then I just don't understand this one. This would be the last one. Mm. Nine and a half, Cleveland Browns. I understand it. The mm. return of Deshaun. No, I, I understand it because you, you are banking on last year being the redshirt year for, for Deshaun Watson, that he comes back with a vengeance. They have an Alito line. They have arguably a, a top five back. David, I'm not telling you it's going to happen, but is it going to surprise you at all if the Browns come out hammering the football, lots of play-action passes? If Deshaun is 75% of what he used to be, they'll challenge the number. If he's what he was last year, which was a complete disaster, they will not. Where are your Steelers? Eight and a half. Steelers, yeah, I believe they are at eight and a half. Let me just look. Yeah, eight and a half. Wouldn't mind they over. Over. They're going to start the season off with a loss, so. Yeah, They'll be 1-0 to start. So 0-1 oh, to start the season. I can't wait for 
Steelers Niners, where I hate watch both teams. <laughs> Week one is going to be fun. As Kenny said, Achilles everywhere. I just, I hate both teams. Do that. 